Uh, what do we want? Druid? Demon Hunter? Warlock? Warlock? Demon Hunter? Every time I take Demon Hunter, I get zero wins. <laughs> or one. That's what happens when your grandma gets stuck in the dryer. I'm going to look at the win rates. Do they matter? Priest, Paladin, Shaman, Warlock? I don't know, man. We're close to a thousand Demon Hunter wins. Can we just get one good Demon Hunter deck ever? Druid, please. Druid. How am I doing? Good, Justin. How are you, man? Human blood is always red. Blue blood is from copper. Or from hemocyanin, which is very rare in a few animals. Is this good? No, the good ones will be shiny. That's that's all you gotta know. If it's shiny, it'll it'll be good. Everybody in chat will get excited and I'll start crying. So Druid, please. Okay, Druid it is. Right to, right to awaken. Uh we're going Druid Priest, and we're building a heal deck. It's gonna be awesome. Chat, you guys did this, so can remember that. Talon Priest is good. I like Mirage Caller actually, but it's not better than Talon Priest. Uh, Hogsteed's okay. Stormwind's okay. Uh, hmm. Stag Ray, three and three. I'm never going three and three. Four and three, maybe. Let's take the Beast. Take the cheap card right now, I don't know. Ooh, Amulet of Undying, neato. Uh, we already have one Death Rattle card. We can trade this. What if we build a Death Rattle Priest? That'd be neat. Vrygul? Sounds shitty. Uh, let's take Frozen Crusher. There's a couple of silences in the meta, I don't know. Ooh, that's nice. Apotheosis ain't so good these days. It's like some death rattles. I'll take all the death rattles. Almost all the death rattles. Acorn Bear? Sure, that's a great card. Bone Mare's pretty dang strong. I'm gonna take Evil Conscriptor. It's more fun. I'm just tired of playing the same damn deck all night. Uh, Yeti? Or Stormwind Champ? I like Stormwind better, but man. You know what? I'm taking it. It's a good card. It's a good card. Wow, got the Bone Mare back. Rewarded. I don't mind having Bone Mare in a deck that also has uh, Evil Conscriptor. Uh, Stupid Spy. Stupid Leper. I'm not taking that one. I'll just take a two. Twos are fine. Cable Rat. Neato. How many lackeys are we going to make? At least two. Free from Fookin Amber? Where's uh, Queenie? Oh wow, just never had this card before. I don't want more sevens, but I don't want Bragul at all. Oh well. Shivara looks nice. Aug Merchant would be good too. Take Shivara though. We had a death rattle there. If you're holding a shadow spell, we have one that we're gonna want to trade all the time and then no other spells. Take Skulker. Skulker could be good. Hitting these things would be pretty important. Discover a copy of a card in your deck. If you play it, draw the original. Hmm. Hopefully see you all around the bed. Hey, let me know how you're doing. If, or say hi when you come back. I'm gonna be thinking about you, Stag. Hearthstone quickly makes you go from happy to angry. Yeah, yeah, it'll do that. I'm gonna try this card out. I don't think it's great, but it should be fun, right? A copy of a card and I can, I get two copies of it. It's kind of cool if we get uh, this thing. Oh, that's good. That's good, too. Wow. Uh, Smite's nice. Bog Beam? Meh. Jade? If this was first pick, I would take Jade, but we're 19 picks in. We're not getting a Jade deck, unfortunately. Uh, Stormwind for sure is the best card. Anyway, I don't care. Oh, Potion of You-Know-What? Wow. Wow, Glimmer Root. Look at three cards. Guess which one started in your opponent's deck. I wonder, will I be discovering a Deep Run Engineer? <laughs> that could be the bet. Make sure you pick Coilfang. <laughs> I remember. 
Uh, I think I'll take Hosen over uh, Volatile. I know we want Death Rattle minions, but I don't like that one much. Um, Fisherman? What about Farmer? Probably not Farmer. Bomber or Reporter? We could take Reporter for a 4-drop. How many 2s do we really have? 1-ish, 2-ish, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Hmm. Just don't like Daring Reporter much. And Bomber might blow up my own board. Alright, I'll take Reporter. Having a Silence is nice. A lot of Steeds, a lot of Mounts. Uh, the 10 drop is great. I like these. Uh, this is okay. Take the big nasty. Oh, baby. Um, we can get a UI or we can get a... We never get UI, right? That's such a good 5 drop. That card is too good to pass. And finally, uh, Twilight. Yeah, let's take Twilight. We have one. We have our our, um, our engine. This thing, where did it go? This thing? This card's great. Cool. Oh, I have another pick. Uh, let's take Lion's Guard. I'm not taking uh, Monkasaur. I'm sorry, chat. While I hate you guys, I hate Monkasaur even more. I'm gonna read a new, but isn't that too many two drops? Uh, no, no. You can never really have too many twos. But a lot of them we don't want to even cast them on two. Like, look at like these. You, I don't. We don't have to count these. This is a good two. This is a good two. This is a good two. This is a card that costs two mana, but it's a draw spell for the late game. Um. So let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven's not too bad. You take the UI. I'll take the UI. We hate you too. No, no, I love you, I scientific basis. Come on. Um It's a nice song, but let's try this instead. Look, we needed more twos. I love this interaction. Yeah, the little uh, different voice lines. It's cool. Hey, come on, B-Bart. Of course, I missed you, though. I missed you. As much as a man can miss a member of a Switch chat. <laughs> yeah, masterpiece. Masterpiece. Canelo. We got four raids today. Dan Fuller. Colst. HNT. And Cantaloupe. Like that guy. Like him a lot. I think you guys know that. We've been friends for a really long time. Best friends, some might say. Do do. What's up, Beard? How's, uh, how's life? Cantaloupe, how are you enjoying Dual Class Arena? <laughs> Do you absolutely hate it? Stream raid. Yeah, maybe we're going to be as big as Crip at this rate. We're going to be bigger than Crip. Not physically speaking, but... Maybe we'll be the bigger person. I don't really want to take that. I don't think it's even worth it. Let's... Do this. Mm, dragon or spell? Um, let's find a dragon. It's actually kind of tough. I know that's kind of silly. Uh, let's just take Alex. I think it's the best card here. But they're all good. Does Crypt even stream anymore? <laughs> I don't know. I think so. Maybe. What the heck do I know? Do I double trade? I don't want to double trade. But this doesn't really do anything. <laughs> I could, uh, uh... Yeah, I mean, whatever. Still gonna trade them off. 
At this rate, you will have to sharpen your elbows beyond TSA limits to outdo Crip. What does that even mean? And I uh, hope we shouted out. We did shout out Cantaloupe. Um, I've talked about it before. One of the absolute best. Uh, oh, dear. Uh, let me go offline. If anybody has any questions for me, I'd be happy to answer them. Just go ahead and throw them in the actual Twitch chat so I can uh, read them a little easier. Um, but Cantaloupe is one of my favorite streamers. I'm not just saying that. Um, standard Battlegrounds, just a kind dude. Uh, if you guys are looking for a new streamer to check out, one of the absolute best, in my opinion. You know, it's not like when I say that about dreads, this time I actually mean it. I have no idea. I want this one, though. I mean, these are both probably better for me. But I want this one. He has nice guitars. Yeah, he does. He has a great singer. He's super handsome. My mom once asked me why, um, why such a cute boy was playing the video game, the same video game as me on stream. I said, Mom, come on, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> Luckily, she didn't say it to him. Unfortunately, I just revealed the truth. Now he knows. My mom, my dad probably heard and bashed the computer. No betting, no betting ever again. We're never doing another bet. All right, let's pay out the last bet. Will we win seven games? No. We should just bet will we win four. And it will be yes every time. Prediction. Will we... Will we... Win seven games. Gosh darn it. Come on, we can win seven. Seven's possible. There's one. That's one. <laughs> Oh, I like this song really neato. It's Red Time Zagazoo. You know, I really like the Zagazoo character. <laughs> I like Zagazoo, always making fun of dreads. Deck looks strong, but the meta's scary. Yeah, that's how I would feel about this deck. But we got one win, so that's cool. Sea Tall Knock. Sea Tall. You a big uh, cantaloupe fan? I'm in the airport waiting for my flight with you muted. Wave to me, ready? Give him a little, little heart. The old heart for a fart, for an old fart. I don't make fun of dreads. I offer dreads in helpful and kind advice, and he gets mad about it. That's what I like. <laughs> That's what I like. Favorite dual arena mix? I, I like Druid Priest right now. I think Druid Priest is probably my favorite right now. I could change at any minute. I'm doing nothing. Don't wave at me. Okay, Flippy, I won't, but I want to. I think it's nice. No! I think it's nice to wave to your friends. Is, uh, is Cantaloupe still here? How, uh, maybe he already answered. How's the standard meta? Has it been... better or worse or the same? Arena's been way worse for the last week, but it'll get better. I think once dual class is over, it'd actually be better. <laughs> these classes are fun. Are these, um, these, these sets or whatever. What do they call them? These sets are really fun. One mana, clear the board. Eh. Yeah, maybe. Could hit this one. But, uh, I'll just do this. It's like, he goes here, hero powers here, big whoop. There's a lot more deck variety, yeah. In standard? It's a lot better post mini set, that's what I heard. And that's awesome. Everybody always has this notion that, like, the game mode they play, like, should be the only one doing well, or that's fun, or thriving, or whatever. I'd much rather Standard and Battlegrounds and Arena and Duels and Mercenaries be fun. I mean, I don't want people to be miserable. It's kind of a... Kind of a fucked up mentality, you know? <laughs> Pardon my language. Cantaloupe, I know you don't like them 
swears. Sometimes you just gotta say the F word. I'm gonna shoot that. It does remove two power. And I that's all I can do right now. Redbeard, last meal? Am I dying? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe Mama's homemade lasagna? Oh, you know what? If, it, if I'm on, like, death row or anything, uh, I would ask for a, a dodo egg omelette. And I'd be like, I refuse to be, to be executed until you provide me with a dodo egg omelette. Isn't there a game-breaking bug where the druid can make a 6-6 taunt? Zero mana? I think that's in wild. Was removing two attack necessary? Uh, it's better than not removing two attack, I'm pretty sure. Getting an extra minion on board. I mean, there's really no reason to hold it. Good thing. <laughs> you can lay eggs. What's the last meal I consumed? Oh, uh, I made uh, pasta with garlic bread and uh, that was it. Brooke and I had takeout yesterday. I had teriyaki chicken and it did horrible things to my guts. It was actually the first time that Brooke and I had been hanging out where my guts um, screamed in, in terror. And she said like, hey, are you okay? I was like, I gotta run to the toilet and I'm gonna be there for like an hour. She said, what? She, she said, where do you want me to go? <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? She's like, do you want me to like be like far away from the bathroom door? I was like, it don't matter where you go. You're gonna hear a, you're gonna hear a howling. <laughs> You're gonna hear a howling for sure. If they made you a normal omelet, how would you know it wasn't a dodo egg? I know. Dodo. Alright. I was a... Uh, I was a... Uh, 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 um, childhood companions with the Russian royal family. We had dodo egg omelets uh, every morning for breakfast. Hey, what is the, what is the exploit for Druid? Redbeard just crushed... Grains forced into shape and boiled. No sauce. Uh, I had pasta sauce. I had marinara with little bits of Italian sausage. I, p I sprinkled some Italian seasoning in there and cut some fresh Parmesan cheese over the top of it. Now that sounds like an implausible story. What's implausible about that? Explain to me in vivid detail. And I will not let you execute me until said explanation has been acquired. Did you say come sit on my lap? No. <laughs> I did not. It draws a choose one card. However, Oasis is bugged and splits into two times zero cost splits. Ah, gotcha. The problem here is I still can't get to that, but what can you do? Have I drafted at least, yeah, I've drafted at least three times or four times? At least three. I think three. Four. And three times we cast two packs and went like three and three, I think, and all of them are four and three. And then one time we went five and three, but cast zero packs, I think. Zero mana six six taunt. And a zero mana heal twelve. Ugh, nasty. It's crazy that after six years Hearthstone finally has a bug. That hmm. Can't believe it took that long. I played Jenny SG the other day, I think, and I lost. Oh, good. Win. Sorry, it's important. Um, oh, I can I can get something with Rush. So, hmm. Good morning, Red. How have you been? I've been great. I wish I had one more mana. Be great to like take this, play this, rush it, kill it, hit it. I've been pretty good though. Oh. Oh, that works differently than I thought. 
Oh, I mean, I guess it works exactly how I thought, but I didn't, I didn't remember what it did. That was a pretty good turn. Remember, see, I knew you would. I knew you could do the fixins to craft the max cheap. What? That was missing. But what? What the? See, I knew you could do the fixins to a craft mac and cheese box that was missing a pouch. I understood that. Sick turn, that was good. A Ford. <laughs> oh, a Ford. I didn't understand that. <laughs> Redford, I knew you could afford the fix into for a craft mac and cheese box that was missing the pouch. Dude, if there's ever a craft mac and cheese box missing the pouch, I will toss that into the trash so fast. It'll make your head spin, Juice. There's some low quality noodles and some high quality cheese powder. Living high on the hog. Ow. Can I look for an eight? I could. <laughs> Long time no see. Hey, Nick. Uh, I'm doing okay. Wow, I want to trade that. I hope you're doing well, though, um, Mr. Nick. Hope, like, life has been treating you well. I hope your, your absence has been due to... Uh, no good things, not bad. Oh, you know what? Sh shit. It's not good. There's not a druid card that gets me out of this. Not that it really matters. I don't really have another play anyway. But... Oh, that's pretty good. I mean, it would be much better if this wasn't on the board. It sort of keeps us alive, but I don't think there's any way we can win. I think we need a Lich King. We die if we get Lich King. Whatever, I just want to cast it. Oh, cool. Actually, almost good enough. Adrenox. Right, let's take Deathwing and maybe he accidentally throws his guys into Deathwing. If we were a priest and we could have found like uh, Shadow Word Ruin or something would have been good. I mean, one mana kill or seven drop when going second, that's too much. We were already behind, right? With that really good turn to come back, but. Not quite. Oh my god, let me reroll these. Que complete the quest lines. Oh no, why did it give me both of these? That's not fair. I can't do them. I don't want to play constructed. Please, god, no. Alright, fine. I jab you, Sarah, Sneeds, and Lich King. I get back when I go 0 3, and it ruins my day. You're gonna go 0 3? Mr. Nick has been busy. University is a bitch sometimes. You must be slightly buzzing about hitting the 360 mark. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked about that, to be honest with you. I've um, I've talked about this sometimes on stream. I'm not like super emotional. I stay kind of even most of the time. So when really good things happen, I feel sometimes like a jerk. Like if somebody's like, hey, Red, here's if somebody handed me a million dollars right now, I'd probably be like, oh man, that's great, thanks. And if somebody like told me whatever, like somebody came and like, I don't know, told me my bike was gonna get smashed to pieces or whatever, they came and smashed it, I'd be like, oh man, that kind of sucks. Like, I don't know, I don't really get too high or I don't really get too low, but it is awesome. Um, I, I am humbled by the support of the community and 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 the people that watch this channel because uh, i know sponsored content is not obviously people's favorite thing most of the time they want hurt by the barrel full they don't want red to be happy but some people do and and that does mean a lot to me i really want to play this so i can buff this oh yeah yeah it's so good but the issue is that he has more 2-3 taunts, right? Or something? 
So I'm not even going to be able to free trade anything. If this wasn't on board, maybe I could... Don't lie to us, Red. We know you cry yourself to sleep every day. Well, you know. There's nothing wrong with a nice cry once in a while. Ooh. Kind of like that. He doesn't have tear ducts. I was born without tear ducts. So sometimes salty water leaks out of my ears. But, you know. It's like crying, I assume. It's like when you guys cry. When Redbeard has another 4 and 3 run or whatever. It's probably similar. Aww. What's the best thing I could get right now? Oh, uh, uh, the, the thing. The one mana thing. Nope. Could look for something in his deck. Could be kind of nifty. I mean, the buff doesn't really matter too much right now. Uh, what? It's probably Hellbore. I haven't seen any of these offered to anyone ever. I'll take try Hellbore. What? <laughs> Why? Let's get one of these flipping beasts off the board before he blows me up. Now that I think about it, if I was in prison, an enormous man named Joint would probably make me cry. His name is Joint? <laughs> I really do cry. I cry sometimes when I watch dog videos. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Juicy, I read that. I liked my joke. You did a good job, though, with your joke. Um, I get a thing, right? Can I, uh, can I just trade this? Upgrade it and trade it? Kind of cool, right? Um... He probably wants to kill this one, so let's put it on that one. We can all cry together. This is a crying stream now. Pry Mobile? Oh crap, is somebody Kron's gonna sub? Heck yeah. I would buy red tear ducks on the black market. Thank you. How about some gills? You say that because the only thing that makes me cry are those dodo videos. Oh yeah, those dodo videos. I like Pierce and I are very similar. Uh, which is probably bad for me, but, you know, what can you do? Hit trade? You could buff it up to six, but then I can't fully heal it or anything. Could play this. Let's, um, let's see what we get. Yeah, look at this. Watch this. Wait, I only get one? But I get to upgrade it. That's kind of cool, right? I like this. What I'm gonna do about that card, I'm actually not sure. Kinda wish I had a 4-4. Four, four. Sad homeless puppy videos, yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm not crying, I'm extremely happy. It's my goal to make Red laugh at least once during a stream. You make me laugh. That was good though. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Alright, um... All right, Pierce, here, you can, I don't know if you watch this one. Watch this one. This one, I, I don't even, I don't, I don't even allow myself to watch it anymore. I pound my fist into the pillow and into the walls. I get so sad, I want to scream. It's wonderful. <laughs> it's a wonderful feeling, truly. Uh, Kron, thanks for the Twitch Prime. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. One day we'll watch that and I will, I will, I will cry. We'll watch it on stream. I haven't watched it in like four years. But I've watched it like four times and every time I watch it, it makes me cry. The beginning of Up, all them Dodo videos. Trigger a what? How dare you? How dare you do this to me? Ooh, dragon. If I can get a big taunt like Lich King, that'd be neato. Dude, if this guy casts some crap on that, I'm gonna scream. Thanks, Red. Now I'm pissing out my eyes. You haven't even watched it yet. <laughs> it's an 11 minute video. There's no way you could have watched it that fast. 
Unless this is unrelated to the video, in which case you need to dial 911 immediately. Kron, thanks for the Twitch Prime. Three months. Wow. I almost don't believe it. Let's see if anybody subbed yesterday while I was offline. We got $13 in paid subs while I took the day off. What a sack of shit Red is, huh? What a never loving bag of poo poo. Collecting money, making a funny. Deathwing's probably better than you, Sarah. I think. I could also just... I'm just doing this, man. That's it. Please don't kill me. I had Tyrannus being eaten by the damn pirate. Oh, fuck. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, I'm dead to the pirate. Oh. I mean, Ysera... Oh, God. Ysera wasn't lethal, was it? Oh, no. 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 I couldn't even cast it. Okay. I start to cry sometimes, and then my body says, F you, and won't let me cry. It could. You never know for sure. What the hell am I witnessing here? <laughs> Big old Tyrantus. Why does this card not have any text? Got him. Just junk crying, but so dehydrated from the alcohol, you just crack the eye, boogers around them. I've seen it. Oh, you've seen that one? Oh, yeah. I want I want to know what Pierce says when he watches it. Look at all them quests I'm about to complete. Man, even these games where I feel like I'm doing amazing things, I can barely win, man. And like that's if they don't have Sneed. Then it's like you just barely get there. Used to be able to cry, but at some point I sort of forget. <laughs> you don't forget, you just get older, it's harder to cry, I feel. And you can still cry. Do I hate duels now? Duels the game mode? I don't hate it. It's not really a mode I enjoy playing. But, um... Yeah, I mean, you know, I don't, I don't really... I don't really think about it, to be honest with you. I, I don't think it's a well-executed game uh, mode. I love this card. It just feels great. I don't know if it's that good. I think it is, though. I thought you enjoyed it. I played it on the first day it came out, and I thought it was fun-ish. And then I played it on the second day, and I found it to be much less fun. And then I queued up, like, I started a run like that I was halfway done with. On the third day, and I didn't even want to like finish it after like a game or two. I was like, I oh, forget it. I think uh, every week they do like a, like one special game mode juicy, and it's only around for a week. I think that would have been a good short-lived game mode where they didn't invest a ton of time or energy. But what do I know? What do I know? I love his card back. Uh, I don't know what he has. I'm gonna hope that um, I can get that. It's a good card. You become numb to the cruelties of this life. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not, I don't think I'm numb to the cruelties. But knowing that bad things happen, I mean, that never made me cry when I was a kid. Not, not that, like, you know. I'm gonna throw this in. I'm assuming that gets eaten there. Maybe he trades there. I don't know. Was I born with a beard? I had a, I had the same beard in the seventh grade. There's a few less. I've got a couple white hairs in there. I've noticed. I started to pull out like individual white hairs. Kind of blonde, although it looks a little white at times. But uh, yeah, other than that, yeah, it was it was the same thickness. It was like I I never had a thin beard. Like I remember in the seventh grade, just having like just fucking just being coated in. Whoa, good lord, <laughs> that's a lot of gifted subs. I'm in lost in the shadows. Thank you, Juicy. Good lord. Good gracious. Um, I'm gonna read off some of those names. Ooh, Natalie. That's strong. I don't know where that came out of. Maybe Juicy's, um... You barely know anything, Red. I know things. <laughs> I know some things. Duels is a high roll, low roll mode, so sometimes skill doesn't matter. Yeah. Urban Key, Monty. 
Uh, Explixer, we got Rovadine, Noxaurus. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta whip some ass here. Uh, I can't right now though. Let's see what they give me. Uh, deal two. Sure. Uh, I guess I'll do this. I'm not sure if that's good or not, but uh, we got Hog Rancher. Wait, oh, that's not Hog Rancher. Hog Rancher got gifted a sub though. Saf, Reed, Night Ulcer, New York City Ulcer, Hero Player, Clown Fiesta. We got Aqua Cultured, Mario Deadman, and Brimstone Gaming. Who else is in there? Two Saucy. See him chatting here today. Munro, Audrey, Nice and Easy. Darth Mortis, Durlog, Zagazoo, who I complimented earlier, GJC, Kamalzu, Akaro, and Prospect Weasley. My god, what a crew. Juice, you hit some big names in there. I don't know if that interests you, but there's some big dogs in there. If you guys got a gifted sub, spam some emotes. Hold on, let me do one. Oh god. Oh, I love this song. Um. I'm going to see who the longest sub is in there. Uh, Urban Key, 8 months. Sav, 15 months. Hog Rancher, 19 months. Good lord. And Igor with the follow, which is pretty sick too. I've been lost in your... I don't know what that is. Have I had any taunts die? Do I have any taunts in the deck? It just seems like an awesome death rattle to get back from, uh... <laughs> it seems like an awesome death rattle to get back from that spell that I don't have in my hand currently. My ex called me a dog. You know what I called her? I don't want to know. We don't, we don't even need to worry about that lady. Play that. I killed that. You fell right into my crap. Mean. You called her mean? <laughs> well, that's that's fair. That's fair. I remember when this one was created. Oh, what a noob I am. No, that makes you an old school guy. That's been around for a while now. Whoa! That's a problem. What if I get a silence? You mean well played? Why did you say that to me? Outplayed. <laughs> I played well. Then my 10 drop got destroyed and he created a 15 drop or whatever. Um, hmm. Oh. Yeah, I should take that, huh? What would I rank each year power in arena? Um, Warlock is usually near the top. Warlock, Rogue, Mage, Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter is probably above some of those. Depends on the meta and the class balance and stuff, but those are probably the four best. And then maybe Hunter, Druid, depending on the deck composition, Priest. Um, the worst ones being Paladin, Warrior, and... Uh, I took this because I thought it was funny. Now I wish I didn't take it. Um, Paladin, Warrior, and Shaman. Like, maybe Warrior is the worst. Hit him with the well played. Do I have to? Is he dead? He's not even dead. Seven. 
Seven. I could still just die, <laughs> I think. Um... Too scared to play that. <laughs> I wanted to play it before the game ended. Hecklebot is Doomsayer. No Doomsayer in the meta, right? Doomsayer doesn't exist. Thanks for the gifted sub, Juicy. Yeah, thanks again. I hope everybody appreciates the Juice, man. I sure as shit do. But he's nice, he's funny, he's generous, he's devilishly handsome and incredibly rich. Everything you want out of a best friend. <laughs> Is there a watch time command? Hmm. That game was awesome because I won and it was crazy. Uh oh, new friend. New friend. We got FaZe. Alright, let's see what Mr. FaZe has to say. That vid got me crying in the club. Are you in the club? <laughs> I'm telling you, Pierce, that one, I can't even remember everything. But I think I know what happens and. The music's really nice. Add him? Yeah, 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 I added him. He committed honorable Sudoku. He probably wants to know if I'm the real Redbeard. Bang adjuster. What's up, dude? Maybe we can get a buttload of new followers. Wouldn't it be cool if we got a buttload of new followers today? I think I want to get up. I, like, this card's good. Well, it's not really good. It's fun, though, but it's not great. I'd rather have like a two or a two or another two or whatever. Didn't understand. Wait, whoa, 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 come on. Spoilers. <laughs> I think just from old age. Like, it's like she spent her whole life with a, or their best friend. Play Hecklebot? I was going to. He conceded though. That makes it even sadder. It's just, it's the inevitability. I'm gonna cry. I asked. Um, Brooke, if I could get a dog. She said, uh, yeah, probably. She said you sit at home all day doing nothing with your wretched life. What what the heck difference does it make? I said, hey, hey, rude. I thought you tried to put him in a stew. Who, me? Maybe you're starting to add people so you can ask them to download the game. I always added people. And if they say rude things, I tell them to shut up. Because they're hurting my feelings. I really want to trade there and trade there. I want to go. I hope he wastes a swing, darn it. Ooh. I could play these two. I think I'll take the trades. Um, let's do this first. Yes. How can one man suck so much? At getting Sneed. That's what I want to know. Try to enjoy Arena a little bit. My beast got eaten twice. One was a Threshadon. <laughs> you blew it! Heal might be better because of the weapon. Heal? Heal. Heal? Like bump and heal, my guy? Over playing a two? Yeah, you're right, maybe. Yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. Greetings, friends. Greetings. This worked because you got Mr. Robo. You know me, Tal. You know I'm not getting Sneed, which gives me almost a 100% chance to get Mr. Robo. Hope you're well. I'm doing good. Akuma. Ward Danzig. Akuma Matata. Good to see it. Use my Shadow Word Death on that. Oh, wait. I ain't got one. Play this. So we uh, trade there. Go face. I'll play this. And I want to trade it. I'll trade it later. Ooh. That's also kind of nice for our deck, but that card's really nifty. He attacked the wrong one. He blew it too, Saucy. Does it matter though? 
I think I peaked for the meta. Just beat Sneeds and Ysera in the same game. Nice. Danny, I hope you're doing well. Missed you yesterday. If anybody missed me, uh, I missed you more. Well, maybe not, depending. If you guys missed me an unhealthy amount, you might have missed me more. We've got uh, some new, new dual class arenas uh, up on YouTube. Jordy, sweetie pie. Get that man. We do our mobile game for a second turn. Uh, let's close that. And how do I spend six mana? Trade there. Shoot there. Let's trade first. Chat. Chat loves doing things in the correct order. We love that Galaka Glutton is a pirate and the art shows the crawler. Me too, actually. I wish... I, I mean, Hearthstone almost never gets like the flavor wrong or the feel of the game. The cards always look sick and sound awesome. Why is that frozen? Oh, he froze it. Got it. Well, I guess that makes sense. I'm gonna just Bone Mary just because it looks like it'd be awesome too. I'll put a frozen, it'll be frozen, it'll be forever frozen though. <laughs> but it's still probably maybe correct, right? Is it? It's just pretty awful. But he'll have to kill one. You know what I miss? Electric Yeah, we haven't heard that in a while. Let's talk. So he has to deal with it? Yeah, yeah, good call. Good call. It's. I still don't think it's right, but it's cool. He'll kill this one maybe. But like just turning, you know, whatever, two drops into into seven, nine frozen taunts is pretty good. I'll queue up um Uh what is it called? Uh Electric Youth. I'll queue it up. What happened to my board? They'll unfreeze next turn. This one won't, though. Because it, it has not missed its available attack yet. You don't have to? No, I like that song. <laughs> uh, this is what I need. Uh... Shit. Wait, that's fine. I mean, I guess I might as well hit that, right? Because... Greetings, friend. Sneeds is overrated. Redbeard is doing fine with Replicatotron. Yeah, it ain't bad. It's like those taunt can't attack cards. How's Dexter? No video from him. He's actually putting out, if anybody cares, a ton of... What? Oh, he left up the frozen one. Um, he's putting out a ton of videos on his crypto channel, I believe. He has a second channel, but he hasn't really enjoyed Hearthstone for a long time, I don't think. And he actually really is passionate about crypto stuff. He, he really enjoys it. Copies it with 1-1 one, one, and then gains one more 1-1 one, one after resummoning. I think it copies it with 1-1. One, one. Does it keep getting plus 1, plus 1? No. So if there's a rep load, it's a 3-3. Three, three, and then Stormwind makes it a 4-4. Four, four, then they're both 3-3s three, that are being buffed to a 4-4, four, four, I think. Or maybe not. Actually, I don't know. Copies of base stats. I think so, yeah. You actually consider getting a pet? Um, no, but yes. No, but yes. I I don't know, man. Getting a dog would be so cool, but also I'd be in permanent fear of the dog like getting sick or dying, and I just want to die before the dog. I think. I think Tall is right. Hmm. I would trust Tall, he's one of the best players in the world. Pokemon greater than pets, you can have both. Um, let me 
go here. Do, 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 do. I should keep all of this. Oh, I mean, I just love picking that up on one, trading it right away. It's delightful. Pick up Sneeze. No Replo. I wouldn't have taken Replo, but I would have considered it. I can barely take care of myself, let alone an animal. Yeah, that's true. I doing here? Trading that. Could take it later. Maybe. Still, man, we got this. Ex these exact three. Um, maybe not last time, but. I mean, I, I, there's maybe some world where he doesn't trade it. I don't know. I doubt it, but maybe. I had self-control, I would delete Hearthstone, then re-download it and delete it again for good measure. I've never done that with any game, except, um... That's kind of cool. I did that with uh, Magic the Gathering all the time. I would rage. <laughs> Not rage, I mean, I would rage. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I, I was... I was heavily addicted to Magic the Gathering online, I think, for like... Fuck, like eight or nine years probably. You don't need a pet, you have the chat, which is basically full of animals. True, but you guys aren't as cuddly or as loving as a as a basset hound. <laughs> Played poker this week and lost six hundred dollars, so Arsenal isn't that bad. How did you lose six hundred dollars playing poker? Was that that's not good. Rage equals passion. I was I am passionate about magic. My recent decks have been really awesome. I'm holding three Inquisitors, a bunch of good cards right now. It's like the devs just buffed the appearance rate of class cards. Uh, I don't think they did that. Just fragments of your soul. Is that worth $600? Who knows? You can lose money playing Hearthstone, too. I cannot kill those currently. But I can kill them shortly. A lot of five, six card Omaha. Uh, Omaha. I've, I remembered, I, I learned how to play that, but I forget now. When I was younger, I could rage hard. I had to have at least broken five monitors and six Xbox controllers and 15 headsets. Good lord. <laughs> That's a lot. That's a lot. Do you play, did you go to like a casino? I played my first MMO ever this past month, and let's just say I cannot handle MMOs at a healthy rate, so I will not be playing them ever again. You say that now. Place looks big enough. Start a stream house. What's a stream house? Like, I have other people here? I don't want to live with other people. I don't want Mizkif in here, you know? Wiggling his tuchus or whatever. Hmm, I actually can't kill that much here. I don't really have it. One, two, three, I mean, I mean yeah, it can kill a lot. They're all odd, um... Odd health. Went to the Kingdom of Atlantis. I was given drinks by cla scantily clad mermaids. Is that a casino in, um... In the town in which you're from? I'm not really sure I'm following. Do you think he got his own Sneed? I can't even get that mad if he has his own Sneed, right? A 412 Taunt? That's pretty good. Oh, Anixia is pretty good too. I get the effect, right? What a dumb card. Hey, I totally agree. Wait, why was his diamond? 
Didn't it look like it had the diamond outline for a moment? Oh, I wish you wouldn't do that. You're acting like a big dickhead. Killing my guy. <laughs> Well, I guess I'll play my own, my, my fair sneeds. Mine cost nine mana, and I couldn't even kill the one, one, two. What a dumb, what, they need to buff Alex Straza. They need to buff it. Oh, please, let me kill it. Please, let me have that on my side of the board. Okay, good news, uh, we have five wins. Bad news. I don't really have any bad news. Hope everybody's having a nice night. Alex work like Sneeds, that would be, that'd be dumb. That would be a bad decision. Oh, I'll ditch the Smite. Smite could be good, but if I'm going first, I think I'd rather have like a Vile Fiend or something. Love from EU. Hey, Animatic. It's good to have you here, dude. Your shirt is awesome. Thanks. People love this one. I hate the red. I don't really like wearing red too much. I worked at Target for a long time, so I hate red shirts. But I like the DuckTales. They're cool. My pants are falling down. Let me uh, see if I can stand up without showing my dome. It's old Uncle Scrooge. Old Uncle Redbeard needs your Twitch Primes, just like Uncle Scrooge. <laughs> That's messaging Pierce. I like talking to that guy. I like Pierce the Professional. I was watching Colson, he had a 12 win arena run with 8 Sneeds from deep run in a row. I went 0 for 8 and had a 12 win arena run. That was pretty cool actually. It was like... It was like a... you had to overcome a... Yeah. We had to overcome the fact that we could not get Sneeds. Don't you dare. First flame? Ooh, flame geyser. Okay. Hello, my ducktails loving friend. Hey, Top D. How are you, man? Used to be like printing money on the poker tables there at the Perth Casino. Hmm. Why don't they do that? Wait, when did I get Holy Smite? Did I draw that again? Don't necessarily want that. Man, I absolutely love this card. Maybe next turn. Do people who are born deaf have an internal voice? And if so, what would it sound like? I assume they do. But what would it be modeled after? Hmm. Yeah, I wonder. Um. Gonna trade this. For. Not a bad trade. Um, let's get one of these bozos off the board. And let's hit here. Play Replicatotron. Every time I went to there, I came home with half a grand plus all drunk. <laughs> oh, plus from all the drunk people. Oh. Yeah, drunk people are good for giving money. Sometimes I drink a little bit. And then I host somebody. And then I gift a sub... Or I subscribe to their channel. And then I wake up and I'm like, oh no, why'd I do that? Replo's Clutch? Um, I'd still rather have Sneeds, but it's not a bad card. It wasn't bad at 4. Certainly better at 3. And there's 
you know, the buff lackey, bone mare, just a couple of like common good buff cards, so. Wow, he did almost nothing. The problem is, uh, I can't play this now. Oh my god, my turn sucks. Wait, which is the which is the first one? Oh crap. I can I can I can fix this. Oh god. Hold on. Um, tall. Which one's my my first replo? One on the right is the first. Are you sure? Hundred percent. 100%? Okay, you're right. Sorry, I went into the VOD. Thank you, by the way. You were right. Okay, so this one's going to turn that one. So... What we can do is, is this. And then there's no risk, right? So it'll, it'll it'll always be the first one that that triggers. So it'll turn this one in, and then this one's effect won't go off because of the the order of the replo triggers. But if you put it in between, then this one will turn this one, and then this one will turn this one into another one of this. If you put it over here, then it's 50-50 which one it hits. Sorry. Sorry, that was. That was Odd time. Hmm. Don't care too much about that. Did I make that sound or did chat make that? Peace Inc. Wow, I love that guy. What's up, Peace? Yeah, so that's one of the reasons why Replo is better or was better than people realized. And I think that's whenever there's like that meme about Veritas and Judge really um, propping up that card. I think that that's part of their reasoning, as you can kind of guide where it goes pretty easily. Most of the time, if you remember. Hey bro, I'm good. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing great. Peace. Something feels pretty loud. was following there. Well, if it was an old B3 Panthol, him or herself. Thank you so much. Seemed to go okay at Blackjack, but I'm not a big wagerer. <laughs> yeah, you know, Blackjack's kind of fun. Blackjack would be more fun if you always won. What's my thoughts on corn dogs? I feel like corn dogs are in theory, such a cool, such a such a great idea. And then you have a corn dog, and they always let me down. It's like this is like a low quality hot dog with some low quality corn meal wrapped around it. I don't love it. I don't love it. This deck is performing pretty well. Yeah, I'm stoked. We found a couple of sneeds. Uh, we've got some removal. We've got some really good early game. I really like that priest um, uh, resummon death rattle card. But we haven't only cast it where it matters once or twice. Preach, are you are you anti corn dogs? Uh, this has been good too. We um, I don't know if we actually won the game where we played it and took the took the poisonous. We might have actually lost that game, but it's a good card. I said druid, Lawrence. I owe you. Hmm. Hmm. I've convinced myself that deaf people hear sign language as their internal voice because I am going in circles thinking about this. Hmm. What are my tips for kissing on a first date? 
um, that's a good question. Um, I don't know what my tips are. You know, I'm going to actually get this going. I'm getting a 1-1 one, one on the board instead of a 1-2. I don't think it matters too much. I get another card. Maybe we pick up a 3 or even a 4, or we can draw it and just keep cycling it. Odds are low, but now they're possible. Uh, tips are kissing on a first date. I mean, you can usually tell. Kind of like read the signs, read the signals during the course of the date. But I would say, in general, you probably want to go like kind of slow and don't make any like sudden movements. Kind of like, you know, when approaching a snake. Probably very similar to approaching a snake. Kind of like lean in a little, see if it's going to bite you. If it does... Get some poison, get some. Get to the poison control center immediately. And hearing at some point, they still retain their own internal voice, but if they never had hearing, they can still have thoughts manifest as limited sounds they have heard. Or yeah, maybe you're right, through sign language. Hmm. Let's eat my beast. Kind of a dick move when you think about it. Um... Don't worry about kissing, just have a good time. Well, yeah, I mean, you can do both. You don't have to worry about kissing, but you can think about it and have a good time. And if you kiss, cool. If you don't, that's fine, too. You don't have to kiss on the first date or anything. It doesn't have to. I think this is the thing, too, that people worry about a lot. And it doesn't have to be some big showy to do. It doesn't have to be some crazy moment. But, like, you know, it feels like you're on a date with somebody and you want to try, then you should. And, and that's that. Is there a possibility of Sneed getting nerfed in some way? I mean, there's always a possibility. I uh, doubt we see it happen because it's not really a problem in Constructed. It's only a problem in Arena. And they don't really nerf cards um, for Arena. Sometimes they'll just remove them completely. But if I don't kiss her, she will friend zone me. Uh, I don't think that's the thing, yeah, thing either. I think um, if you're on a date with somebody and they like you and you like them and things are going to work out, then... <clears throat> and those type of things don't really matter that much. If it's somebody that's like gonna judge you because you felt nervous or because you were not you were unsure or because you didn't want to like upset them or, or, or like make them feel uncomfortable, I think a person like that is probably gonna be receptive to like you and another date and a kiss at some point and it's probably gonna be a much healthier relationship anyway, so that's all. But sometimes when you're younger, I feel like it's harder to, you're like, oh, I saw it on a movie, or oh, my friend said they went on a date, or, you know, whatever. What's it about kissing your snake? Jeez, get that out of the gutter. My snake? I don't think friend zoning is real. Um, it's not. I don't either. The way I always figure, like, People, I think, put themselves, for the most part, in the friends. Like, somebody might want to just be friends. And if you don't want to be friends, and you stick around because you think that somebody might change their mind, even though, like, giving no indication they will, that's you making a choice to be hopeful for something that may or may not happen, which is fine. But you have to accept that they may not want to go on a date with you or whatever. And I think that a lot of people... Um, are like, oh, they put me in the friend zone, you know, oh, this sucks, and oh, but they might, you know, oh, I, I just have such a big crush on them. It's really easy to put, you know, to, like, you think you re you're in love with someone, or you really want to be with someone, but if you've never dated them, like, if you've never gone on a date, if you've never been in a fight, if you've never made love, like, it's not the same, man, like, you have to do all that stuff. Nobody should affect you that much until, like, you've really invested the time and energy and... Wow, 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 Which again, it's easier to say, it's easier said than done, but when you're younger, you're like, oh, I really want to be with, you know, gesticulate, but he's got a girlfriend or a boyfriend, or he doesn't want to be with me, but we've been, oh, we've been talking, he talked to me for like two weeks, like, oh, like, I don't want to be in the friend zone, oh, oh, he put me in the friend zone, it's like, no, just go date somebody else, go date someone else. If coins always been draftable, it's just a new thing. 
Uh, it was a card in the Mean Streets of Gadgets and set an extra coin for Rogue. Um, that card has always been draftable whenever Mean Streets has been in the meta. I'm at the point where it just sounds like so much work and loss of freedom to pursue a relationship. I mean, I don't think every relationship, I don't think any relationship healthy should feel that way. Um, oh, wait. Has it died? It hasn't died. Oh, it did die. I don't think any relationship should feel that way. Um, that's not what I wanted. Some some will, but not, not all do and not all should. I'm actually going to just do this. But if you feel that way, then you probably are not in a position like where, where a relationship would be that beneficial for you. I think it's something you should want, and I think it's something <clears throat> you should um, be, be willing and ready to work for. And not being ready or willing is not a bad thing. I think that that's a good time to probably not pursue a relationship. It was silenced. It did not die. Uh... Oh, you're right. This is the non-dead version, but this is cool. I spent three mana for a six drop and a one drop, right? Since we're on topic, I have a question. Okay. Friend zone is just entitlement for how one feels rather than accepting that person's decision. Well, look, somebody, like, whatever. Um, poet may, like, want to go on a date with me, and I may never want to, but we may be friends, and I may tell him, like, hey, look, I don't see you that way. Like, I prefer the company of women or whatnot. I'm just telling him he's my friend, and if he wants to keep being my friend, that's cool. But if he's like, "Hey, I'm madly in love with you," I, I don't think I can be in a, you know, and I don't think that's good for me. I, I'm too attracted to you, Redbeard. You're devilishly handsome, and you're so witty and gen like, like that's him choosing to remain or or not. Like, I didn't put him in a friend zone. Like that's just a, that's not a thing. We could take germination here. Germinate. I don't know if this is good or not, but... I didn't have a buff, right? I was looking for, like, a druid buff. Is it weird that I don't feel the need, desire to pursue any romantic relationship? No, not at all. I did not feel the need or desire for a long time, and it was after getting out of a long, unhealthy relationship, and working on my, my own stream and my life, and being in a bad place and trying to get to a better place, and I think I kind of did that. Um, and it took a long time. And I think had I pursued a relationship, I would have just screwed up more relationships. And now I have a stream that I care deeply about, that I kind of built with the help of the community, but in large part to working hard every day, never taking time off, never taking a week off to go on a nice trip with a young lady. and. You know, now I'm dating somebody who understands how important it is to me and understands what I do. And I think I don't think I would have been able to achieve that had I rushed into something. And different people can can have different types of relationships and find happiness doing different things. But for sure, for me, I'm much happier that I didn't pursue a relationship when it I didn't force myself into a relationship just to be in a relationship. Whereas when I was younger, that was something that I definitely would have done. It was the Pokemon cards that got you there, huh? <laughs> you know, I didn't start uh, getting back into the Pokemon cards until December last year when Dreads was opening them. And it was good because I had a little bit of expendable cash. The stream wasn't qu floundering quite as much as it was in the early days. And it's a nice little hobby. I don't spend a lot of money. And, uh, it's, ni and I, you know, I, it's nice to have something to, to buy that makes you happy too. Sorry, Even if it's just a fleeting fancy. Wager? Hmm. Could use a mod. Chat's um chat's pretty pompin' right now. Sometimes I think there's something wrong with me, but I'm not sad being single. I actually think it's pretty good. There's pros and cons to being single. Whether or not you want to be or not, even if you're like not interested in pursuing a relationship, or you are. Being single, um is you know, you get to do whatever you want. You get to make you know, you don't have to like being in a relationship, a healthy relationship, I think you're going to have to make a lot of sacrifices and a lot of um, compromises. And if you're not willing to do that, or if you don't want to, which, you know, you don't have to, uh, then there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah, You may want to go here for dinner, somebody else may not want to go there, and lo and behold, you know, you're going somewhere you may not want to go. 
some nights, or you may want to watch 17 hours of this show. This person may not want to do that, or may want to do something else with you, and you may have to make a, they may want to watch a different show. It's small um, uh, uh, compromises, but yeah, they're there. Are we doing another Harry Potter rant? <laughs> we could. We can always change the subject. Getting back with exes rarely ever leads to anything good. I wouldn't recommend it, but at the same time, people are going to make whatever decisions they want. I, I can't imagine ever dating any of my exes ever again. We broke up for a reason, right? Most of the time. Mistake to shield before hitting the 2-3? I don't think so. Sometimes it is, but not always. It's hard to say. It depends, you know, what's in my hand. It depends what's in his hand. In general, I think the Divine Shield is pretty valuable. But he gets to keep a little extra health. But yeah, I mean, depends. Probably a mistake, like 80%, 90% of the time, maybe. Max was a snake with boobs. No, that can't possibly be the case. No snakes ever had any boobs. They wouldn't be able to crawl on the slither on the ground. I just want friends, but don't work or go to school, so I struggle to meet anyone. I would say, and this may sound like a crock of shit, man, Twitch is a great place for meeting people if you want to like invest the time and energy still. You still have to do that. Making friends is hard. Mm, and not pulling anything is not that big of a deal, because he still just cast a 6 mana 5-6. Had he had it been an Alec and cast on my guy, he would have lost the game, but still. Right, let's do this. Let's do this. And let's do this. But yeah, I mean, I, like TwitchCon, we've done some Redbeard conventions where people have got together in person. And I would consider T-Bone and Smalls and Dexter and... Um, red man like friends that I made through twitch like that I got to spend time with and, and share drinks with and... <laughs> Thanks Nap. I'd rather we do it this way where we're just friends and you hang out on stream and you can Periodically donate 300 bits if you feel inclined. I appreciate that very much. I Think I'm waiting for that meaningful healthy relationship and understand it takes time. So I think that's what I'm doing I'm being patient. Yeah, yeah I think that's very, very wise, Juicy, and I wish you nothing but the best. I think you're a wonderful man from everything I've seen, and, and anybody would be happy to have you. But at the same time, if you're going to find somebody that's a really good fit, it's not going to be easy. It's not going to just, you know, if it, if it happened all the time, then it wouldn't really be all that meaningful, right? So. Flossing is nice. Flossing is wonderful when you want to drink blood. <laughs> I had a hard time meeting a significant other since I work overnight shift at a hospital. I work every Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Hey, sometimes work can be a huge detriment. It can be a huge, um, uh, uh, um, I don't know, it can be bad <laughs> for meeting people and living a healthy life and whatnot. Oh no, not Avenge. Um, I think that might have been the best hit or the worst, I'm not sure. But yeah, um... Yeah, and that's another thing about streaming is it's given me so much free time. Even though I stream at this time, like I feel like I have so much time instead of working Monday through Friday with a, or, or I mean I worked weekends too, instead of working like a volatile rotating schedule. Hmm. What if I had Sneeds? That'd be cool. Right, let's trade this. Try to get it back. Oh my God. I think I'm gonna sit, even though um, bopping it doesn't seem so bad. If I hit, I take eight, and then I shoot two. He might trade, and then I take two. Or I deal two, or whatever. There's not a ton of um, value into pre-hitting, unless he has like Dig Day or something. But there's not too much I can do about that. We'll trade because we'll come back, I hope. You're pretty wise too, you're a good friend, and Brooke is a lucky woman. Yeah. I don't know if I'm that wise, but I feel wiser than when I was a, a younger man. Hmm. Bunch of 8-8s. Eight UI is really good. Those are two really good spells. Um, my turn kind of sucks. 
if I take UI, I think I take Forest Aid and hope he doesn't have Battle Master. It might just he might just blow up my board or whatever, but that, that, that would suck. Your job overlaps with what people want to do with their leisure time, so it's a good bonus leisure time while scratching your game itch. Don't get me wrong, I respect the grind of what you do, but I can see why it feels like a lot of free time. Um, but I mean, like, like I sleep better, I sleep less. I can have um, the luxury of streaming whenever I want and taking off whenever I want. And as a result, I stream at like the worst possible time to make friends. And I take like the least possible amount of time off, but it's okay. Cause like, it's my choice and it feels better than when I worked a traditional um, job and so on and so forth. Um, could look for a Sneed. Can I fully trade? Maybe not. I'm going to take off. I'll try to make it back before you're done. I'll miss you if you don't. Seven. One, two, three, four, six, seven. So Sneed, very good. Would like to get this down. If he doesn't have a silence, it's so good. Even if, no, I guess if he has a removal, he just needs a siphon. Good siphon trade kill. I wish that more people would have agency of their lives like that, but the landscape is pretty brutal. Yeah. That's true. We die if we sneed? Um, to sneed. Oh, you're right. Oh, shit. I'm not sure what I'm doing anymore. This is a pretty big guy. He's also lucky to be in the position to have earned it. It's unfortunate. So maybe we live if we play this? He bumps? Yeah, maybe actually. I mean, you can't really know, but... I would have had to have not taken on a buttload of student loans and academic commitments, but the risk-reward factor was just not there. Well, I would say the, the risk-reward factor for starting a stream, especially when I did doing what I did, was probably not worth it, realistically. Um, but I, I just think... Uh, like nothing's real. Like like you can always talk yourself out of something. You can always talk about like the risk not being worth the reward. Um, but like I, I made no money for a really really long time. And like right now, like however much money, like quote unquote, you know, you make like none of it's guaranteed. Like, it's still I don't think that like that what I do now, where I'm at now, is without risk. Like I think there's still a ton of risk. There's no security. There's no pension. There's no. 401k there's no benefits and there's no guarantee that tomorrow like you're gonna still be around so I, I, I kind of just accept that and it kind of is what it is cannot grumble considering what I'm going through yeah yeah no 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 grumbling Colossus was safer than this but let's see what he has um, yeah, I mean, if he siphons you, you regret it. If he Librams you, you regret it, so I think it's all right. It makes you good streamers more suitable and transferable. Reporting for duty. To, sorry, to what? I'm gonna do this. Come play play with me. You ever heard of the too big to fail factor? Uh, no. You're happy now and that's what matters? Yeah, that's more what I care about. I'm not really worried about tomorrow so much. And when I worked a more traditional job, I was always worried about tomorrow, even when I had that security. And I was never happy, almost never happy. So I'd much rather um, operate in this manner. I kind of want to sight trade that, eh, whatever. Getting stuff on the board right now is good. Um, like, yeah, yeah, I, I, I've been happier lately the last 
you know, year or two than I ever was when I was working at Target, so not really. If I if things change and whatever, like that while it wouldn't make me happy, it I know how much more happy I was doing this. How much happier I hope to be. Mmm, probably this, right? I mean I'm assuming. You wish to love this card. I felt like a wasteful consecrate. Uh probably was. Oh god. Stop on me. Mm. I think I kill it because there's Spike Ridge Steed, I guess. Um, two. I'm gonna just do it. I, I just feel like the earlier I get it, and that's pretty nice draw. Let's play this one too. While he has a 3 1 weapon equipped, it seems like. Who cares? Please beat Zeddy. Oh, is this Zeddy? That was Zeddy consecrating my board there? Really? Doesn't seem like a play Zeddy. He must have had no other play then. Zeddy's a really good player. He must have. His alternative must have been hero power. Parson goes to shit. Arena goes to shit. Even more off the deep end. <laughs> you decide to do something else. I think it would have a much better shot at it than other Hearthstone streamers. I think so too. But the Twitch viewer base is very fickle. I think I'd have to go. You know, take a long, a big step backwards and then hope to. Take a few tiny steps forward. Can we get a bet on how many times you'll drop your Pokemon cards this week? If we, I wish we could do like long week, week long bet type stuff. It only lets you have one bet at a time. This isn't Zeddy. He'd be golden. Hmm. Maybe you're right. Maybe it's just a Zeddy. Uh, Zeddy supporter. Would Zeddy not have golden hero power? I don't know, maybe he's on his uh, free-to-play arena account. Maybe he's making a series for his YouTube. Hey, Keck W. Supporter is a nice way to say poser? Yes, exactly. <laughs> the Zeddy poser. Hey, side note, poser is a good, uh, good word. You're such a poser. I need three damage. Can this give... Um, Damage instantly? That'd be cool. Summon a minion from your deck with less attack than that minion. Hmm. So I need to summon a zero attack minion? That doesn't seem great. Okay. You're posing to be a guy that uses the word poser regularly. Me? Yeah, you poser. I'm not posing. Meat wagon. Number 345 of Redbeard's Dong's nicknames. Meat wagon? I've got a sneaking suspicion this game may have just come down to whoever got the, uh, the first sneeds. Turn kind of sucks. Um, I'm actually going to trade this. Or no. I'm going to trade it. This is a pretty good silence. I'm going to take that. I just feel like I might want it for a taunt next turn. Hmm. Hmm. My turn sucks. I could kill off one of these big guys, actually. Maybe that's better. I mean, Sneeds is a little less good with a bunch of one ones on the board, right? That's what I figure. Flappy Bird. Undraftable. Rumor is Redbeard's underpants have home of the Whopper on the front. <laughs> no, they're playing in black right now. Well, brown. Started out white, though. Leaving Flappy Bird? Oh yeah, I don't give two shits about that card. Wow, 
One, two, three, four, five. I mean, I was kind of hoping that he didn't have, um... Man, what did he shoot? Oh, in the spider tank. Okay, it's alive. That's kind of cool. Can I set up a Shervara, maybe? Maybe. Wearing underpants Oregon has changed him. It's cold here. I need, uh... I need woolen support. Yeah, I mean... What did I just give him back? Oh, the shitter? That's good. <laughs> um... I could trade it next turn if uh, I have to. I have a lot of good draws in the deck. I appreciate you. Snipey, I appreciate the shit out of you. Is that, a, is that okay to say? Imagine if you had the arena gaming chair right now to realistically experience this arena gameplay. Me? Imagine that. Is he going face? He must be going face, huh? And I silence. And I'm probably still gonna die. That's pretty good. Um, what death rattles died? Did I have any? Tell me I got something. Oh, the stupid uh, two ones and whatnot. Uh, one ones? I got a silence. This should draw you a card when you silence. Uh, that's eight. Oh, the sky stalkers, you're right. Wow, countering the two health. <laughs> um, good trade. I guess I should see what I get back first. He has eight, 12, 14. Die to a battle master as always. Uh, Sky Stalkers, and I think I would have traded for sure. Now I'm four cards down, and I have no value and no board. So, what up, Red? Hey, what up, Spaghetti? We trade now to get the Colossus. Yeah, you don't know you're gonna get Colossus, all right? This is probably right. Yeah, yeah, putting him at two seems correct. Whoa, that card sucks. <laughs> Whoa, that card's cool, but also sucks. <laughs> and then, is he dead? He's actually dead, wow. Yo, I, I guess it, you gotta factor in, he has to clear all, all four of them. How's it been going? Pretty good. We've got a good run going here. Um, we reached our goal for Conflict of Wars. So I don't have to upset people by mentioning it anymore, other than mentioning that we reached our goal and how much I appreciate everybody's support. BG's card. <laughs> it's funny how good that card is in Battlegrounds and how trash it is in regular Hearthstone. We should have set up six, seven, sixty-nine squirrels just for that game, yeah. Well played, thank you. That was a good one. You made Zeddy salty. Witness protection time. There's going to be a YouTube video about me. You think I was the real Zeddy? I doubt it. <laughs> no 450 gold? 360 I think was the last one. Opened any cool cards? I don't know if, if you saw the, um, the the golden Mew we got. Uh, I didn't open it. Brooke opened it. And Tarantula Graham sent a, a Celebrations ETB, which was really cool. And then we got, I opened the Venusaur, which I thought was pretty sweet too. I was really happy. I wouldn't have expected to get a golden Mew. I think that exceeds expectations. Opening um, one of those things, I'm just happy we got one of the Venusaur, Blastoise, or Charizard. I think those look really cool. So I was pretty happy about that. Mm. 
Who's Brooke? Brooke is my girlfriend. Brooke Worm? The artist formerly known as Brooke Worm? If I had cash money, I would want to get you the Tyranitar alt art because he reminds me of you laying around in your crumbs. I appreciate that. I want that one a lot. I think it's like a hundred dollars. That sucker is expensive. I mean, I probably could have bought it, but... Alt art. Tyranitar. Uh, let's see. Let's see what they sold for recently. Uh, let's play this guy. Oh, it didn't sell for too much. That's not that bad. 87... 67? No. That's got $35 shipping. This one went for $50. 62? Oh, I thought it was like 100 bucks. 66? That card's sick. I like that one. Uh, let's play this. Pick up. This. Play that. And what's his hero power? Oh, duh. This is a really cool card, yeah. What do I think about mercenaries? Uh, I, to me, it just seemed like a kind of a cruddier version of um, like a Raid Shadow Legend style game. Grindier without an auto battle. Looks poor and uh, I don't know, it wasn't for me. I got no qualms with people enjoying it, but I didn't. Mm, I don't have a play, huh? You just shoot his guy. I don't have a play for next turn either. I think I'll just bump and heal. Just be upset. Almost got me on picking something else there. I was kind of doing it because I don't want him to immediately know what we picked. Because sometimes, as you can see in the last game, not that we had too many options, but dropping five one ones up against a Sneed is a lot better than playing like, you know, two four fours or whatever. Um, I'm not sure if it really matters, but if I double trade those, I can't get Aug Merchanted. I'm probably not going to have those guys on board for the Bone Mare anyway, so... Respect. Uh, I think I just got a Sneed for the full clear. This is turn- oh, I only have 6 mana. My mistake. I wish it was more like Slay. That's what everybody said. It was like going to be a Slay the Spire style game mode. And it's just not that. I wanted that. I thought it was going to be like the... I think that's what Duels was kind of sort of supposed to be also. I don't know. It, just feel, it feels so bad. <laughs> it just feels so bad. One, two. I really hate this card, man. I really do. Do I even attack? I could I could attack. And then he probably just doesn't do anything, and then I could just bone marry it next turn, maybe. How dare you shoot Elise? I didn't want to, believe me. That was an imposter, Elise. Come on. I thought only I get to play Elise. But starts hoping they win. <laughs> I don't hope they win, but I hope they get the pack, and I hope they still lose, and I hope they have fun playing Elise. Got Monster Train on sale. Hit the Slay the Spire itch, but it cost me about three uh, pounds and I own all the content. I'm confused. One shot. I'm confused, but I love Monster Train. I thought that game was awesome. I did that as a bounty on... Uh, For one of the Twitch things, I thought it was awesome. I really enjoyed it. Would you hate Deep Run? Uh, would you hate it as much if it wasn't for Deep Run? Um, yeah. I'd hate it any time it got played, because it'd be an 8 mana 8-8 eight, eight that just wins the game. With, um, completely overpowered and, you know, so on and so forth, but... But it being relevant or or... or Am I dead? Wait, is he dead? I need three damage? How do I get three? 
Is that right? 10, 23, wait, no, 10, 23. Oh my God, I'm one off because he doesn't have a two attack minion. <laughs> is, that, is that true? Hmm. Mm. Yeah, it being as common as it is because of Deep Run is part of the reason that makes it so stupid. What to do? do I really not have lethal? 10, 23, 24? Like if you had played like a River Croc one-off, dang. We have to clear and taunt. But I don't want to do that. trade. Oh god. Don't even worry about what I just did. Darn. I think we played it correct. I think we got a, you know, not much we could do there. Probably something we could do. My eight wins is pretty good. This is a fun deck. What I'm what I'm worried about in this meta is how easily it is to just go like three and three, five runs in a row. And maybe this is our last good one of the night, but you never know. It's possible we get another win or something. And uh, thanks to the uh, new followers. Criterius, it's not sore. Uh, Bepenthal. Welcome everybody. Hope uh, you guys are having a what the fuck good time. What the hell's going on there? Uh Yeah, and if you're watching this one on YouTube, sorry I forgot to tell you didn't didn't tell